Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I picked out the pages that I wanted to color for Mermaid. So let's have a look together. First I like to show you my rollover pages from April. So I started this one with the blossoms and I really hope to finish it. I know it's not a mermaid page, but it's okay to have some, yeah, different pages in between all the mermaid things going on this month. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to finish this one. Another rollover page is this one. I'm coloring it with whole binds, and I think I can finish it. I will leave it out on my desk and color a little by little every day or every time that I want to have a little quiet time. Sometimes it is 5 minutes, sometimes it is 10 minutes and it's working out great for me. And yeah, slowly I will finish this one. So far I'm happy with the result of it and the whole lines work great on this paper. I have this one picked out. I also picked it out for April because I want to do a special project in it and I didn't have the time yet to do the project. This is my project page and we will see if it will work out or if it don't work out and yeah, we will find out together. Hopefully on the color and chat video or test video or yeah. I hope I have time to fi uh, find some time to do it. Of course, my mandala coloring book. And let me grab some of the sticky notes and have a look together for pages that I really want to color. I already saw one that I want to color. You can see it's filling up slowly. I think I want this one, even it's not really a mermaid page. Let me pick this one out. And I also want to color this one. I will pick out just one, maybe two pages, I think. Well, maybe I go crazy and do another five this month. <laughs> I cannot imagine coloring again so many pages in the book, but we will see. Let me... I want something mermaid. And I know there is a page with a little mermaid in it. This one can count. Do I want to color it? No, I will leave it. It's not the right one. I like to do this one. Yeah. This one is the mermaid one. Oh, I'm flagging so many pages and I still want to call her. Oh, this one is also with a pond and fishies. I also want to call her this one. I don't know. Let's flag it and we will see. So, already so many pages, right? That I really feel like coloring. So, I picked out this one. It's the same that I wanted to color in April and I didn't find time because I colored so many other pages. I picked out this one with the mermaid. I really hope that I find time. I think I flagged it also last year and I didn't felt inspired to color it. It's okay. And on the back of the page, I also flagged this one. I don't know why, I think it's a very nice and relaxing one to color. I picked out this one. Yeah, loving it. And this one. Not sure yet about this one, but we will see. We will see at the end of the month which page that I've colored. And yeah, if I have colored in this one, I might put it away and yeah, see it again in June. Not sure. We will see. Let's dive in. The mermaid pages that I picked out. Of course, there has to be an Anastasia Ellie Cold Reefer coloring book. She is amazing in drawing mermaids and in her all her books you can find some. 
maybe not with a tail, but you can turn in her ladies into a mermaid with her floating hairs and this one is stunning and I flat another one. Let me put <laughs> a bookmark inside. Kind of love it. I picked out this one. It's also stunning. We will see. I love this more octopus lady, right? It is not really a mermaid, but maybe this is suiting the mermaid vibe better. I'm not sure. I both love them. Her artwork is stunning. In the book you can find a lot of mermaids. They are all beautiful. Any of them will, I think, count as a mermaid page. It's so fun. In May I color so many mermaids that I don't color in, uh, color in mermaids the rest of the year. So, <laughs> I think that's fun. I picked out one in Mythic World by Kirby. It's not really a mermaid. I think it's a little different. I think it will count. Sometimes you have to have a little break in between all those glittery and magically creatures, right? And I think we can create something mysterious around them. Create some clothes and yeah, something dark and I like this one. I like the art style of Kirby a lot and I have to go back to it, so. Yes, of course. What month is? The Hannah Carlson, right? It's filled with underwater scenes, underwater creatures and a lot of mermaids. Let me find the one that I picked out. Find the bookmark. I picked out this one. With the jellyfish. I think it's the only page that I marked with the jellyfish. So it will be fun. Yeah, Looking forward to color this one. The mermaid hugging a fish. Yeah, I feel inspired to color it. So. That's great. I feel the inspiration. And... At the start, when she announced that she was doing an Atlantis coloring book, I didn't feel I really needed in my collection, but I have a need. I think the pages are great. I really do like it. Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Glad. Lady, I'm coloring a lot in the birds in the forest, but for Mermaid, I really have to include this one, right? I didn't pick a page. I think I can, can decide when yeah, I want to color in the book because it's filled and they are all fun and you can use a lot of bright colors and yeah, previous years I had fun with them and you can see there is color in the book but the book can use more color. I'm sure I'm able to find something when I feel inspired to color it and yeah, have fun in the book. So Mermaids in Paradise, also on my coloring pile. Another special dedicated Mermaids coloring book. It is by Camilla de Erico. I really like her style. It's one of her earlier books. You also can find Mermaids in her other books. And for this year, I picked out this one. This one, I went crazy with all the glitter. And I think mermaids are perfect to add a ton of glitter on, right? So yeah, I really hope to color this one. I think it's fun. And I think I like to add something on the background this time. To create something nice with my inks. And have a play with it. So. Yeah. I also like this one. But I went for this one. There are only, yeah, 30, 31 days in a month, so don't have to pick too many. And if I'm taking a look at the pile next to me, I definitely picked out way too many pages. Clara Makova got a lot of mermaids in every book. 
well, a lot surfer of mermaids in every book. So I picked out this one to color. Or I like to color this one. I think they are both very pretty. I think, yeah, I feel inspired to color them both. I'm kind of scared to color the bottle. So if I'm not feeling confident enough, I can go for this one. This is one that I did, I think, already two years ago. Still liking the look of it. So yeah, it's also on my pile. Very celebrations. I'm a huge fan of her books. So of course, I had to pick another one. This is the newest one, Little Secrets of My Fairy House. And I picked out a mermaid. That is painting. Being creative. I think it's suiting the coloring channel, right? Yeah. You can see in her newer books there's a lot going on compared to the older books. And there are more mermaids like this one. You can find more. So, yeah. If I'm not feeling inspired to color this one, I always can have a flip in the book or in one of her other books, of course. I pick them out because I feel inspired to color them at this moment, but it may change if we are two weeks into the month and yeah, I allow myself to change it a little bit. Girls with Music by Mama Girl and I picked out two pages. I have this very large page, double side spread with the mermaid. And you can see it's dark gray scale on her scales and yeah, I think we can create something beautiful with the shimmery paints on top of it. And I picked out the same page. It's in the back of the book, only smaller and it's less heavy gray scale as you can see. So I don't know which one I will dive into. Maybe this one is easier to color because it's smaller and not a double side spread. Double page spread. We will see. This one is an untouched book. And there is something with a mermaid tail. It's this one. Oh, I just realized it's a double pager. I only. When I was just flipping in my book, I noticed this one, so I don't, I'm not sure if I go for double page spread. It is cute. I like the little, yeah, grab in the, oh, I'm sorry, I had to yawn. Yeah, sea turtle, sorry. It is really cute, and I think there's a lot going on in the background, and I can paint out some of it if I'm not feeling to color it. I can paint out the border. I think I don't like the border on the top and the bottom of the page. We can create something with yeah, a sand bottom or something, and some reflection with paint on the top of the page to create. A more realistic scene, I think, even if it is very cartoony. Uh, I have my doubts about this one. Now I notice it is a double page. We will see. We will see. It will be nice to have my first page colored in this one, right? Another one that I didn't color in yet is in the mini takai and I think I also picked it out last year and I didn't color in it. It's this one. Again a double page. So it's a smaller book so it's easier to color and I think it's very cute. I love coloring hair and there is a good part of the page is hair. I like coloring her mermaid's uh, tail so I can see myself coloring this way on with um, inks for the background, with some glowing stars and I might dive in this one this year. It would be great, really would be great to color in it. 
It's the Pink Colors Make You Happy Coloring Book by Mickey Takai. I picked out Emily Liedehout Olberg. And you can pre-order this one again. It has a different title and it will be released in August. So that's great news, right? And there's a mermaid in this one. I think this one is counted for mermaid. I can see all the scales on her skin. So yeah, I am imagining she has a tail on the bottom of her body. So yeah, this one can be colored. Or I will be coloring in the fairy tales coloring book also by Emily Lida Olberg. This one is still yeah, available on Amazon and other websites. So you still can find it if you don't have it. And I think this is the perfect one to color for Mermaid. It's funny that I don't like coloring underwater scenes and then it's May and I'm like, yeah, let's color all those underwater scenes. <laughs> I can see myself coloring it in a lot of bright colors and a lot of shimmery paints and glitters and yeah, going crazy with it. And the last one that I picked out. And I'm sure I'm not able to color them all. There are so many pages. It's in the Birds in the Forest coloring book by Denise and Clem. And there is a mermaid in the back of the book. I might want to color it if I still feel inspired after tackling a page in the mermaid coloring book. I think it's so cute with the little birds and the little fish. Yeah, I'm liking this one. So we will see if I find time to color them all. I cannot imagine coloring all those pages that I picked out. But there are just plenty, really plenty of mermaids in all the different coloring books. And even if it's not a really dedicated book filled with mermaids, you can find a lot of them. So I will yeah, wish you a great color month in May. If you want coloring mermaids or you don't like coloring mermaids, it's all okay. I hope you will have fun. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!